Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly take note that Excel Academy is currently offering both physical and online classes. And please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to register with Excel Academy. In today's class, I have a task of explaining or now you can find the domain of a radical function. So the first thing that we need to know is what is a radical function? What is a radical function? Okay. So when you talk of a radical function, what is it all about and what does it consist of? So a radical function is a function which is written in the form of, let's say, f of x is equal to square root a, x plus b. So, any function which is written in that form, it is a radical function. So, a radical function, it is a function which is expressed in a what? A square root. It is expressed in a square root it can be in a cubic root or any other root okay now if i was to give examples of radical function i can talk of let's say f of x is equal to square root x plus one i can talk of let's say i have f of x is simply equal to let's say i have two plus square root x squared plus 1. So this is an example of a radical function. So let me quickly look at how you can find the how you can find the domain of a radical function. So let me quickly look at some few examples and please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy so in my example I'll say find the domain find the domain okay find the domain which is also known as the input of the following of the following functions okay of the following functions okay so in the previous class i explained about rational functions how you can find the domain of rational functions and i'm pretty sure some of you took time to watch that video and if you haven't make sure that you watch that video once again so let's say i have f of x okay let's say i have f of x is equal to let's say i say square root 3x um plus let's say i can pick uh nine so this is my function which i have been given to find its um domain so the big question is what determines the 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 domain of a radical function so when finding a, a domain the domain of a radical function we avoid negatives we avoid negatives okay so we don't want um to have a negative inside there because once we have something like let's say negative one this expression is undefined this expression is undefined so when you're dealing with radical functions we try by all means to avoid the to avoid the negatives so that is the reason why you are going to see what i'm going to be using whenever i'll be solving okay so let me go back to my question so my question is f of x is simply equal to square root 3x plus 9. so in this case i have to pick what is inside the the square root so the domain depends on what is inside the square root there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say 
I'm going to say 3x plus 9 because we are trying to avoid the negatives we are trying to avoid the negative so it's going to be greater than or equal to 0 3x plus 9 should be greater than or equal to 0 meaning everything that is inside here is supposed to be greater than or equal to 0 meaning it has to start from 0 going up you can talk of zero you can talk of one you can talk of two you can talk of 2.5 or any other number which is a positive number so in this case i'm just going to solve this inequality whereby i'm going to say domain is simply equal to um 3x plus 9 should be greater than or equal to zero so upon writing that what next am I supposed to do? I'm just going to solve this inequality and I'm going to say 3x should be greater than or equal to negative 9. And then since I'm having 3x should be greater than or equal to negative 9, I'm going to divide I'm going to divide throughout by 3. So I'll divide throughout by 3 like that. So in this case, after dividing throughout by 3 i'm going to have um i'm going to have x is greater than or equal to negative 3 so with that being found how can i state my domain how can i state my domain so it's very easy i'm just going to say therefore domain okay therefore domain is simply equal to x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3 such that x is a member of all real numbers so in this case the the solution set of this um of this function is just starting from negative 3 up to positive infinity this simply means that since negative 3 is part of the answer i can put the block bracket and then i put the open bracket on that so in a case you are asked to write it in the set um, notation okay so let me quickly go and solve another example on this um, um, part so this is going to be my my b so let's say i have f of x is simply equal to let's say i have um negative square root and then there let's say i have negative 6x and then there let's say i have plus 30. okay let's say that's my expression so how can you go about this expression how can you go about this expression so in this case what you need to consider is that this negative has no effect this negative has no effect what is mattering most or what is carrying weight or what you need to focus on is what is inside this radical value what is inside this uh, this square root is what is mattering and in our case we need to avoid a zero we need to have so we need to avoid negatives so this means that we are going to say uh, negative 6x plus 30 should be greater than or equal to zero we always use greater than or equal to zero so this greater than or equal to zero is just telling you that we don't want any negative value so in this case we are going to say negative 6x is greater than or equal to negative 30 and then there you can say negative 6 and then there you can say negative 6 now look at what has happened here look at what has happened here so if you check out because 6 is a negative because we have used negative 6 since we have used this negative here this sign has to change on our solution so we are going to say um, x is less than or equal to uh, 5 
x is less than or equal to 5. Why have we used x is less than or equal to 5? The reason is that um, we have divided throughout by a negative. As a result, this sign here had to change like that. Okay. So, how can you write your domain? Okay. So, in this case, you're going to say domain is simply equal to bracket x such that x is greater than or equal to 5 such that x is a member of real numbers so this is the domain of this set so some lecturers would love you to express it in the solution in the in the set notation so in the set notation it's going to be open negative infinity comma five since this is um, equal to it's going to be block bracket like that so this is my second example let me quickly look at my third example and please make sure that you follow up these classes and make sure that you register with excel academy so let's say i have f of x is simply equal to let's say i have square root x squared minus one square root x squared minus one so this is my my expression there so here all right solution so in this case this is how i'm going to find the domain so i have f of x and then is simply equal to um is simply equal to square root x squared minus one so like i said initially in the previous examples your main focus should be on what is inside there so looking at what is inside there you need to get it and you 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 say x squared minus one should be greater than or equal to uh, zero so after you do that what next are you supposed to do so we have x squared minus one is greater than or equal to zero so this is going to be x squared is greater than or equal to one so this x squared is greater than or equal to one we are going to do what we are going to introduce a square root so we introduce a square root there and we are going to introduce a square root there so in this case this is what we are going to find we're going to find that this guy and that guy they will go so you're going to have x is greater than or equal to there which is a um, positive or minus one positive or minus one okay so let me write my other part this side so if i get this this means that x is greater than or equal to one and x is greater than or equal to negative one now because you see that this guy had the aspect of introducing the negative this guy there was an aspect of introducing the negative so this guy can be written as x is less than or equal to um negative one x is so because of the negative there because of the negative here the negative here which took place here because of that negative there you have to change this guy to that form so this is the easiest way you can do it but for more explanation i'm going to deliver it during our classes so make sure that you register with excel academy so therefore when you talk of the domain when you talk of the domain the domain will simply be equal to x such that um x is less than or equal to negative one and again x is greater than or equal to uh one and then such that we are going to say um we are going to say x we are going to say 
x is a member of real numbers so this is the domain or the solution set of the domain that we were supposed to simply look for so guys make sure that you register with excel academy make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and also you can follow us on facebook where we have our username which is excel academy so in a case you want to join us you can simply whatsapp me on 0965887474 so you can contact me on that line if at all you want to register with us otherwise thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy have a blessed day